Today, the government of Japan has announced that the process of the controlled discharges of uh, treated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is starting. The IAEA has committed to be present before, during and after this process. One essential element of this is the capacity to share information in real time about the process as it goes on. As you can see behind me, there is a graph that simplifies the process. You can see the uh, uh, tanks, you can see pipes and different points. Each point describes a specific um, checking point where we will be showing different important uh, pieces of information that are essential to understand what's happening. Number one is going to be measuring the Alps treated water transfer line radiation detector. This figure shows the level of gamma radiation monitored by the radiation detector placed at the transfer pumps. When it's green, it will indicate that there is no unexpected level of radiation. Red would indicate that the value is measured at an abnormal level. Gray will indicate that this aspect of the discharge system is not currently operating. Number two is the Alps treated water transfer line flow rate. This figure shows the quantity of cubic meter per hour of the treated water flowing through the pipes at this point for dilution further downstream as is based on pump status and capacity. Number three is the seawater intake radiation detector. The figure that we will see there will show the level of gamma radiation monitored by the radiation detector placed at the seawater intake pumps. The green would indicate that there is no unexpected level of radiation. Red would indicate that the value is measured at an abnormal level and grey would indicate that this aspect of the discharge, as the previous one, is not operating. Number four is the seawater transfer pump flow rate. This figure will indicate the quantity in cubic meters per hour again of seawater from the surrounding area being pumped into the dilution facility and used to dilute the treated water. During normal operations, it is likely that the only two pumps will be used at a time only to, to achieve the needed flow rate. Number five, importantly, the tritium concentration after dilution. Japan's plan is to limit the concentration of tritium in the discharged water to be less than 1,500 becquerels per liter. This concentration falls well below international safety standards. The Japanese regulatory concentration limit is 60,000 becquerels per liter for discharge, and the World Health Organization WHO drinking, drinking water guideline is 10,000 becquerels per liter. Confirmatory sampling and analysis of the diluted Alps treated water is conducted daily by TEPCO and the data is posted here. Number six, the vertical shaft radiation detector will show the level of gamma radiation monitored by the radiation detector placed at the vertical shaft. Green will indicate, as for the others, that there is no unexpected level of radiation. Red will indicate that the value is abnormal and grey would indicate that this aspect of the discharge system is not currently operating. Credibility, reliability depend on availability of information and this is what the dedicated monitoring webpage of the IAEA is going to give.